Welcome to Getting Started with Visual Timetables, presented by Speech and Language Therapy in the Community Learning Disability Team. Why do we use visual tools? Speech disappears immediately after it is spoken. In fact, the spoken word can be completely gone before the person's brain even registers that you have said something. Visual tools remain present as long as necessary for the person to focus their attention and take in the information. What is a visual timetable? A visual timetable uses photos, pictures, symbols or objects placed in a sequence to represent daily activities. They show the person what is happening and can represent part of the day, a whole day, a week or a month. How to use a visual timetable. The timetable should be placed where the person can see it and access it easily. Prepare the timetable at a set time each day, either last thing at night or early in the morning. Make it part of the person's daily routine, setting aside adequate time to help the person plan their day. When offering choices, Make sure you only offer activities that are available. For example, don't offer an activity that involves a car when there isn't a driver on duty. It is vital that the timetable is used consistently by everyone supporting the person. Here's a video of somebody planning their day using a visual timetable. Hello Sam, let's do your timetable. So today is Tuesday. This morning, do you want to paint or do a puzzle? Mm. Do a puzzle. Okay. After lunch, do you want to cook or paint nails? Paint nails. And this evening, do you want to watch a movie or play bingo? Play bingo. Well done. Okay. When an activity has finished, the pictures can be covered up or removed. This will make it clear that the activity has ended. The person can then see what is happening next. Keep all of the symbols and pictures in a safe place so they don't get lost. We'll now show you a video of somebody using a timetable and an activity finishing. Louise, the disco's finished. Shall we take this one off? Now it's time to watch TV. This is the developmental levels of understanding visual information. Any of these levels can be used with the visual timetable. The easiest and most concrete for a person to understand is the real object. The next easiest is a miniature of the object. Then a photograph of the actual object then a line drawing of the object. Next is a symbol of the object. The most abstract and difficult to understand is the written word of the object. Your speech and language therapist will advise you on the most appropriate level for the person you support. Purpose of using visual timetables. A visual timetable gives a person more control over their daily life. It can reduce the uncertainty around what is happening next. It increases opportunities to make choices and encourages communication. It helps people who do not understand the concept of time. Layout of visual timetables. Events such as breakfast, lunch and dinner can be fixed in place on the timetable so they can be used every day. This provides a permanent structure so the person knows these activities are going to happen every day. Chosen activities can then be added into the free spaces. Timetables can be made in a variety of sizes depending on the person's eyesight. A4 and A3 being the most common sizes. We can also make timetables portable so they're easy to take out with you. This is a more complex weekly visual timetable which may be suitable for someone who can understand more information. To help them know which day it is, you can use a border.
Visual timetables can also be used in the form of a countdown. For example, if someone is anxious or excited about going on holiday, a respite stay, Christmas or a birthday, this is a visual way to support them to understand timescales and events in the future. Visual timetables can also be used in the form of a daily routine. These can be permanent pictures or velcroed so the person can remove them when the task has been completed. Using visual timetables. A timetable can show the person the order of events or activities that are planned during the course of the day. The pictures can be used to explain things that are not happening. For example, if an activity has been cancelled, the corresponding picture can be removed or covered up. Another choice should be offered to the person in place of the cancelled activity. The newly chosen activity can then be added to the timetable. Next is a video demonstrating this. Sam, no bingo tonight. Would you like to make paper aeroplanes or play a board game? Paper aeroplanes. Well done. The benefits of using visual timetables. As adults, we set up our day and make our own choices so we know what is coming next. Imagine having no idea what is going to happen next or where you are going. When a visual timetable is in place, the person knows what is coming next and they know what to expect. This can reduce the person's anxiety because there is no uncertainty about what they're going to be doing. Visual timetables give the person and their carer a shared understanding of what is happening that day. It can make it easier for the person to understand, follow and remember the plans for the day or week. When a visual timetable is in place, the person may become more familiar with their routine. Thank you for listening. For more information and support, please contact your local community learning disability team.